All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Main the Outspoken back here with you on this Monday morning for me. And I am playing some Atlas this morning, the pirate survival MMO game. And we'll just give it a few minutes here to get the stream up and running. Let me share the channel links in a few places here, and then we will get up and running. All right, just give me one second here and we'll get going. All right. Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon. Like I said, wherever you are in the world, Main the Outspoken here with you this morning. Going to play some Atlas. I've actually been uh, working on harvesting some resources this morning. And just going to probably put together a new schooner. And... Uh, Probably go out and farm some ships of the dam, try to get some more, you know, blueprints and gold and stuff like that. Just for something to do. If you're just tuning in, welcome to the channel. It's great to have you here with me. Hopefully you can hear me okay. <laughs> Trying out a few different settings here. Hopefully everything's working okay. Okay, so I want to put this schooner together. I need some more wood, and I need some more fiber. Let me go grab that. Saying hello in the chat really quick. So, this is on an official server, um, and this is, of course, post-update, which they did on Friday. Um, needless to say, that update didn't go very well. <laughs> Just my opinion, of course, but uh, apparently there's a lot of issues going on <coughs> with the game right now. Um, I know, for example, like myself, I play on Xbox, I play on a Series X, um, it's you can't really click on the overworld map right now um, you can only see the region that you're currently in uh, which makes it kind of difficult so I'm hoping you know today's Monday I'm hoping today maybe tomorrow or something that they will uh, maybe do another patch or do something to correct some of these issues that have arisen because of the last patch that they just did on Friday so, of course, a lot of players are kind of frustrated today, a little bit upset. You know, we had hoped that the last update, they, they had mentioned that it was going to fix a lot of the problems that Xbox has been having. Um, let me turn my gamma up just a little bit. It's kind of dark. There we go. So, yeah, no, hopefully they'll uh, come out with some kind of a patch today or you know at some point in the next day or two and um, get some of these issues fixed because I mean they were supposed to you know add things or fix things for Xbox like the memory leak issue so for example if I were to get on that new ship that I just made and you know sail through the grid lines typically I can go through about two or three and then my game will crash 
So they had mentioned that supposedly they were fixing some of those issues. But I've yet to see it, so we'll have to see. I'm actually going to change one more setting here. Turn the chat box off now, because I don't need to see all of that right now. That's okay. This ship that I'm putting together is just basic common. Nothing fancy. I need to make some wood pieces for it, though. Whoops, I don't need that. My intelligence is only like 120%, so... I don't get much for a buff when I craft things, but at least it's something. Oh, look! 0.4%. <laughs> nice. Alright, one second here. Just... Getting something going in the background here. Alright, I'm just going to share the channel link in a couple of places really quick, and then I will continue to build the boat, and then we will set sail. Got it shared in one place. And let's see, one other location. All right. Links are all shared. Oh, I am over encumbered. <laughs> I'm walking super slow. If you're just joining us, welcome to the channel. Great to have you here playing some Atlas this morning. Trying to see if the game operates as normal as it should. Um, you know, obviously this last patch that they did on Friday didn't really go over so well, it seems like. Um, let me know in the chat, you know, if you've been experiencing any issues or problems playing the game. I tried... Uh, Saturday morning to try to get on and I was, you know, as you can see right now, I mean, I'm able to play. Whoops, I didn't need to eat that raw meat. <laughs> so, I mean, I can play. Um, I'm just on Xbox, so I can't really see the bigger map unless I plug in a, a mouse, actually. That seems to be the fix for the map issue, is you just have to plug in a, a mouse. Which, I mean, isn't a huge deal, but... I prefer a controller myself, personally. Just a personal preference.
All right, so I'm going to do four gun ports on this one. We're going to do uh, I'm going to do some large cannons off one side for this boat. This isn't uh, anything special. It's just going to be a, a ship that I take out to farm some ships of the damned. Alright, so we almost got all the planks on. Like I'll have to make a couple more. Come on. There we go. Alright, so at least got the basic frame done. But if you're just tuning in, welcome to the channel. Make sure you say hello in the chat. Always fun hanging out and chatting with other Atlas players or people who might be interested in the game. All right, I know I made sales. Here they are. Um... Like I gotta farm some more hide. I've noticed... Okay, so I don't know if you guys just heard that, but I've noticed that happening. It starts to play the music, you know, for like morning or, or you know, dawn or dusk. And it just like cuts the music off. Just like, psh, gone. <laughs> so that's kind of strange that that's going on. Not that it's a big deal, but just something I've noticed that the music in the game just keeps randomly cutting off. I'm not sure how you guys build your ships. Uh, this is just the style that I typically use. But I want to have an opening down here. Um... And I usually put a back rack of cannons on my ship, personally, but just what I prefer. Some people don't like, you know, rear cannons off the back, but they say it makes the boat too heavy, but I definitely prefer having some cannons off the back. And like I said, this is just how I build ships. I mean, I'm sure you do it differently the way you build your ships. Let me know in the chat, you know, how you what you prefer for a, a build style. All right, so we've got a little cabin here, lower deck area. steering wheel right there. Alright, we got the sails on, we got the planks on. We'll just have to put the cannons on and man the boat. And we should be ready to go. Oh, I gotta grab some cannonballs too. Looks 
Looks like I need some more wood. Chop a couple trees. But yeah, let me know in the chat, you know, if you play Atlas, um, do you play PvP, do you play PvE, what's your preference? Do you like to play on the official servers, or do you prefer maybe unofficial? It's one nice thing about this game is, you know, everybody can play in their own style. If you don't like PvP, you can play PvE. Or if official is, you know, too much work, you can always join an unofficial server. Where, you know, the rates are usually a lot higher boosted and things like that. Alright, so I want a munitions storage container, an ammo box, a ship resources box, probably a bookshelf, and a storage box. Here's my steering wheel. Um, got a couple of cannons stashed. Somewhere here. Here they are. I'm gonna have to make cannonballs too. If we got any gunpowder or not. Oh yes we do. Alright, so I got some large cannonballs cooking. I'm over encumbered. I'm moving really slow. You tuning in? Welcome to the channel. Great to have you here. Walking slow. Oh, maybe that's not going to work. Okay. Oh, it's probably because it's just in the shipyard still, I guess, because I can't man it. We'll see. Now, I always put my cannons to target ships only. And for the large cannons, I mean, you can put it on high range. But honestly, I mean... The cannons already have a ridiculous range, so I just usually keep my large cannons on medium range, uh, just so that they'll have some better accuracy, and they're not trying to shoot at a boat, you know, that's really far away. Now, my ship cannons, though, I do typically put those on a high range. So it kind of depends, I guess, you know, which style of sh uh, cannon I'm trying to make. Actually, this is a 109 large cannon right here. Craft that. That's better than the one I have. I need some hide. 
course, there's no animals to be found. Got to kill a fish, I guess. Here, fishy, fishy. Where are you? <laughs> One lonely fish way out here. All right. Harvest a little bit of hide off this thing. Oh, there's a turtle, too. Where'd you go, turtle? Okay, I got a little bit of hide. Oh, there's a teammate. I'll not be taking my stuff. Checking out my boat. <laughs> okay. Get the rest of these pieces and parts put on the ship here, and then we'll set sail. I guess I'll just do uh, three cannons off the back for right now. Again, changing all the settings to ships only. That's just what I prefer to do. Uh, you know, you may prefer to do things different. I just find that the cannons are a lot more accurate when you uh, do it this way. Oh, 
if I like that right there. I think I like that better. to make like some wall pieces actually so I want to enclose the area around my steering wheel See if that's enough stuff to f close in the steering wheel at least. So we'll make a couple different ways to get in here. Just got to make a couple more doors. Usually like covering this hole right here. And I'll usually put like a swivel guy standing like right here to shoot the bottom deck if someone jumps on board. So yeah, if you're just joining us, welcome to the channel. Appreciate you tuning in. Not too much action happening yet, but I'm going to try to get going here in a few minutes and we'll set sail. Start putting a few manned cannons on here so I can crew the ship. throw them down on the dock and then pick them back up once the NPCs appear and just demo the cannons or whatever and get the resources back.
Guess I made my cabin a little too small. Usually I make it a little bigger, but I made it a little bit too small this time. Alright, I'll have to re redo this later, but we'll just go with that for right now. Just want to get out on the water. So we just need a few more man cannons. A swivel gun too to cover the deck. I was wondering why it wasn't letting me target the other sails because I didn't put it on. <laughs> I might have messed up. I should have placed that before I placed the cannons. I thought I had already placed the rear sail, but I guess not. Hopefully it will let me place it. Sorry about that. Got slightly distracted by something else. Come on. All right, let's see if it lets me place this rear sail. I think I might have messed up. Oh, it is letting me place it, okay. I was wondering that. I didn't know if it would let me place it. Thank you. 
Okay, let's get these NPCs on here. All right, so we got all that stuff. Just need to grab some ammo, some resources, and I think pretty much ready to go. Looks like we're out of wood. Hopefully that should be enough wood. Just needed to craft a few more things. Actually, I need to make a bed, too. Okay, so we got some wood, thatch, fiber. I don't need this alloy. I don't need this resin. Need a little bit of metal. Not a lot, though. Should be good. Um... Oh, I do need a little bit of hide as well. So we got the resources. I think the last thing I need to grab is some ammo. Then we can go out and hunt some ships of the damned. If you're just joining us, welcome to the channel. Appreciate you tuning in. Hope you'll become a subscriber before you leave. Playing some Atlas on this Monday morning. Or at least it's Monday morning for me. I'm not sure where it is. What time it is for you where you're watching. Feel free to say hello in the chat. It's always great to talk to fellow gamers, especially Atlas players. Now, I like putting my swivel guys way up high because it will actually help uh, shoot like sharks and other stuff like that. Got a bed. That's good, because there's definitely been times where I've built a new ship and set sail and didn't have a bed. <laughs> Learned that the hard way. Get like two grids away, and then all of a sudden you're, you die, and you're like, oh, <laughs> I don't have a bed on my boat. How convenient. Thank you. 
Okay. Let's see here. I think the only thing I don't have is like a repair hammer, but I can make one of those. Uh, I don't I should make I don't know if I can make a spyglass either. I don't know if I have any crystal. Not sure that I do, honestly. Oops, wrong box. See if I have a spyglass. I think I might have one stashed. Yep, here's some repair hammers. Here's a spyglass. Grab a couple things here. Apple hooks, actually. No. What do I need? Hide to make more, probably? Hide and metal. I don't know if I have any or not. I got some right here, I guess. Make a couple of extra grapple hooks. go. Okay. Well, I think I can finally drop the boat here and we can set sail. What do you guys think? Is there anything I missed? I don't believe so. Alright, I got some extra planks. Got a spyglass, grapple hook, cannonballs. Got some resources. Whoops. Okay, we got wood, thatch, fiber, gold. I think we got a little of everything, so I think we're okay. Oh, I didn't put a wall right here. <laughs> I forgot the back doors, too. I knew I forgot something. There we go. Feel a little safer, at least. <laughs> All right, and away we go. Man, it's been a while since I've sailed in Atlas, actually. It's probably been a couple of weeks. I gotta get used to this again. Oh, 
Okay. Well, how's it going, everybody? Happy Monday to you. Appreciate you taking the time to tune in. Just got a brand new schooner here. We're just going to go try to scoop some floats and boxes, maybe do some sunken treasures. So that's interesting. So that's what they changed the portals to, huh? Those big cyclone tornado looking things out on the water. I didn't realize that they had made that change, so that's interesting. I don't know what I think about that. I think I like the other portals better. What do you guys think? I'm like so paranoid sailing right now because the last server I was playing in was a deddy and there was just angry whales everywhere. <laughs> Seemed like you couldn't go anywhere and there would be a, a angry sperm whale chasing you. Let's see if I can grab this box here. Float some boxes actually seem to help you level up your ship pretty quickly, actually. Early on, anyway. Maybe like the first 20 levels or so. My boat is a little heavy. I probably have more stuff on here than I should have, but... I have to get a couple of NPCs, too. I don't have any guys on my swivel guns yet. Alright, I just said hello in the chat. Hopefully you'll all take a moment and say hello back. I always enjoy talking to fellow Atlas players. This is always a place where you can come and hang out. I certainly don't mind. All right, we got a level. I usually try to get the ship up to like 200% resistance at least. Um, then I'll start putting levels, you know, like in damage or weight or things like that. I may need to put some levels into weight early on. This boat is heavy. Here's a floatsome. I absolutely love that they made the speed sails open and close kind of like a handling sail. Oops. Like they open and close so much faster now and that's wonderful. Yeah, see that one floatsome box gave me like half a level <laughs> for the ship. So, if you're looking for an easy way to level up your ship early on, if you you know, other than obviously fighting things and whatnot, just sail around and scoop floats and boxes. Definitely helps. Plus, you get some gold and other things. Alright, we haven't seen any Ships of the Damned yet. I'm sure we will soon. Oh, 
I wish it would become daytime. It's so dark out. Alright, I am going to put a level in weight. Let's see if we can get this schooner sailing a little faster. What? All right, sorry about that. My kiddo was talking to me there for a second. All right, so we're getting some more float some boxes going here. So how's everybody doing today? Happy Monday to you. Three days after the patch. <laughs> I mean, the game is working. Um, I do play on an Xbox, so, you know, obviously we have some major issues going on with Xbox. Um, like when I look at the overworld map, I can't click out of the region that I'm currently in. Uh, I guess that we have to hook up a mouse in order to get it to work, so I haven't done that yet. I do have one kicking around here somewhere I could use, um, but I haven't had a chance to plug in a mouse yet and try that method for getting the map to work. I'm hoping, you know, I'm hopeful that today or maybe tomorrow they'll do something to try to address some of the issues that came with the patch that happened on Friday. I have no idea whether they will or not, so we'll have to see. But let me know in the chat or in the comments, you know, what, what issues are you guys experiencing when you're playing? Are you, maybe you're not having any issues, I don't know. Um, but that was a major one that I noticed was that the map was not able to be opened up fully on Xbox. You know, unless you use a mouse. Which, you know, to be honest is not ideal. <laughs> I mean, I'm fortunate enough that when I play on an Xbox, I'm actually sitting at a desk, and I use a, a computer monitor hooked to my Xbox. So, I mean, if I if I hooked up a keyboard and a mouse or something, it really wouldn't be a huge difference for me as far as, like, where I sit and things like that when I play. Um, but, you know, a lot of Xbox players, though, they sit, like, at a couch or something like that. So using a mouse isn't always the easiest thing to do. So I was a little disappointed, you know, when I saw that, that we had to use a mouse just to play the game, but I'm just going to stay in the region that I'm in currently. I don't, I'm not going to leave this grid for right now, uh, at least while I get this uh, new schooner leveled up. Woohoo, we're up to level four. Yeah, see, there's a grid line. I don't really want to sail through it. I'd rather go fight some uh, ships of the damned. Let me turn this way.
Where's all the ships of the damned? Where are ya? Here's a couple of floatsums that should be easy to grab. And I am playing on the official uh, PvP server, in case anybody was wondering. I know I saw somebody ask, um, you know, what server I play on. The Electro Tornado. I guess it's the portal. I personally haven't had a chance to sail through it yet. Um, but yeah, you see that black looking tornado out in the distance. I guess those are the portals now as of You know the most recent patch Which happened on Friday So I I guess I, I again. I'm not an expert on any of this stuff, but apparently those are What the portals look like now so you can see those tornado looking things out in the distance Maybe I can sail up to one and we'll check it out um, I did see some people kind of complaining in the Discord about them, that they just didn't like them, that they said that once they got close to them, they couldn't see their tames on their ship anymore, and other weird glitches and things like that, so who knows whether these will stay or not, but I guess this was a, a change that they implemented on Friday with the most recent patch. All right, we got another level up. We're at level five. Watch out. <laughs> level five schooner coming through. Sorry, this is a little slow right now. I'm just scooping floats and boxes. I'm... I'm hopeful we'll come across a fleet of Ship of the Damned here in a minute, though. It's always when you want to find them, you can't find them, right? <laughs> and then when you don't want them, they're everywhere. Just the way it goes sometimes, I guess. But yeah, as you can see those tornado-looking things out in the distance, that's... I guess that's what the portals are now. So, different. I'll have to see if they keep that as a permanent change or not. Come on, ships of the damned, where are ya? So if you're someone who's, you know, maybe hasn't played Atlas in quite a while and you're not even familiar what the portals are, um, they broke the map down into different areas, like different regions. And these portals are what you use to go back and forth between the regions. Um, apparently they did change it, though, with this most recent patch that you now can sail from region to region just by going through the grid lines. And you don't have to use the portals. Um, but the portals are a quicker method of transportation to get from one region to another. So I'm going to kind of sail towards these tornado-looking things and... See if it doesn't make my game crash or something. Hopefully not. And we're still on the hunt for Ships of the Damned.
It's interesting, too, how they changed uh, the blueprint colors. So, like, see, this is a fine blueprint now. And it kind of has that... I don't know what color that would even be. It's almost like an orangish color, I guess. Um, common blueprints are still look like this with a white text and a gray background. The green, the green blueprints now are the journeyman ones. So that's kind of weird and different. So yeah, they've changed the colors on the blueprints <laughs> as of Friday. What do you guys think about that? I've seen a lot of mixed reactions to that, honestly. Some people love the change. Other, people's ha uh, other people hate it. <laughs> so, let me know in the chat what you think of the blueprint color change. Maybe it makes no difference to you. I don't know. And of course, when we're looking for the ships of the damned, we can't find any. <laughs> yeah, those portal tornadoes are kind of weird, huh? I don't really know what I think about that yet. Alright, I got the schooner up to level 6. Oh, there's like two floatsome boxes sitting right next to each other. Try to grab those. Oh, look, a ship of the damned. Finally. Grab these two boxes first. And we'll go fight. Always convenient when there's like two boxes sitting right next to each other. Trade wind, it looks like. All right. And away we go. why I prefer rear cannons. Makes it a lot easier shooting these. I need to get that third NPC on the back, though. back and get that schooner. Grab this box first. 
These NPCs. Actually, do I need... How am I doing on crew? Yeah, I should be fine. Oh no, shark. Come on, guys. Hurry. Get on the boat, quick. Let's go, buddy. I need you up front. Come on. There we go. Oops. All right, let me see if I can whistle this last guy up here. There you go. Perfect. Let's take out this schooner. Try out our large cannons this time. Here we go. Well, that wasn't very good. There, we got him. Oops, I missed. I think the ship is fully crewed now, so I don't need any more NPCs. Do you want to change this cannon, or this uh, swivel gun? I can get up here. Well, this is why I build them on these door frames, <laughs> to make it difficult to get up here. And, of course, it's harder for myself to even get up there. Well, I don't think it's going to let me access this thing. There we go. High range, and I'm going to do all targets. How's the ship doing? I know we took a few hits there. Rear planks are a little beat up, but not too bad. All 
Alright, where'd that red brig go? I know he was right around here somewhere. Oh, I gotta put the levels in the boat. That's right. Hey, we got four levels. Alright, so I put some of those levels in weight, so hopefully we'll travel a little faster. Running a little heavy, because I've got, like, extra materials and cannonballs and all that kind of stuff on the boat, since this is, like, its maiden voyage. Just to try to level up. I do try to keep my ships under a third weight. Just for the speed. But if you're somebody who's played the game with me before, you know I also try to put, like, every weapon on my ship. I'll have, like, swivel guns and ballistas and catapults and all kinds of crazy stuff on my ship. Let's see if I can manual fire this. I've been practicing at this, trying to get better at it. Boom. All right, he's pretty strong, so I don't want to get hit by him too much. So, I mean, I guess overall the game is running okay. Uh, I haven't noticed any major issues, but I also haven't tried to go through any grid lines yet either, so... Probably that would be my downfall. Completely missed there. Oh no! That wasn't good. Those were big numbers. <laughs> Those were big numbers. those tornado portal things. Running out of cannonballs. I have to reload. Try to hit him with my uh, large cannon. There we go. That got him.
All right, we got the schooner to level 10. Obviously, this isn't the most, you know, the fastest or most efficient way to level a ship at all, by any means. This is just the method I'm trying right now, just because I don't really want to leave the region. Unless I absolutely have to. So see, it's interesting. This is a journeyman blueprint now, and it's green. <laughs> That's kind of strange. It's going to make take me a long time to get used to that. And that's what the fine blueprints look like. Definitely different. Okay, well... That was good. We were able to take down some ships of the damned. Yeah, so those, that's the portal now. That big looking tornado looking thing. I mean, I don't know. It's cool. It's going to be confusing, though, when cyclones happen. Man, yeah, that'll be really confusing. Like, even right now with the fog and stuff, if there was cyclones going on, you would drive into one of those by accident, I bet, all the time. continue on here. Maybe we can find some more ships of the damned or something to fight. Who knows, maybe there'll even be a player out here. You never know what you're going to get into in this game. Oof, I got five levels to put in. Um... Put a few points in damage this time. Yeah, we're at level 15 already. Not too bad. Considering this was a brand new ship that we just built today. I can't see anything in this fog. Might have to stop for a minute and uh, wait for this fog to clear. I can't see anything. I'm blind. I'm sailing blind. If you're just joining us, welcome to the channel. It's great to have you here. Playing some Atlas on this Monday morning. Drinking my morning coffee. Coffee time. And I don't want to sail through the grid line just because of the kind of known issues that the game is having right now. Uh, as I mentioned earlier in the stream, I do play on an Xbox, so... We already had issues with crashing and things like that when we go through a grid line, so... This is kind of... I, I did try playing on Saturday. Um, and I noticed that it was just, you know, I would fast travel and I would crash. And I was reading on Discord that some people were experiencing issues where they were just, like, not losing their character. But they would fast travel somewhere or go through a grid line on a ship. And then their game would crash and then they just couldn't get back in. Um, so, 
I'm not sure if that's happened to any of you out there that are watching. Uh, definitely let me know in the chat if you've been experiencing any kind of major issues since Friday's patch. Uh, but because of that, I mean, I, I so I didn't play Saturday, I didn't play yesterday. I was kind of waiting and just watching Discord to see if the developers would say anything or whatever, but it doesn't look like they have. So I'm hoping since today's Monday, you know, maybe they'll make some kind of an announcement or maybe they'll release another patch or something. I I don't really know what they can do to help us at this point because I know it seems like that their patches, you know, they have to run it by Microsoft and they have to give Microsoft the heads up that they're doing the patch and everything. So sometimes there's a delay because of that. Um, they had mentioned that's what happened last week. Like I think the patch was supposed to be last Wednesday. It ended up getting pushed to Friday. There's a 5.2 sunken treasure. Not going to stop for that, though. I, if it's like a 10-pointer or something, I'll stop. But There's too many people in the region, and I am all alone on my ship. So <laughs> if I was the only person in the grid, I would go for it. But since I'm not alone, I don't really want to be down trying to get sunken treasure and have a boat roll up on me. Try to grab this floatsome box here. Oh! I almost ran over it. Ugh, oh, my nose of the boat's like right on top of it. Did I hit it? Nope. Ah! <laughs> oh, it just hit it. <laughs> Bummer. Oh well. At least it wasn't a ship of the damned box or anything. Okay, we'll continue sailing here, see if we can run into anything or anyone. Here's a floatsome box. Almost need to switch to a new grapple hook. This one's almost worn out. Now that's definitely something I have never crafted on an official server, is a blueprinted armor dock. Have you guys ever done that? Let me know in the chat. And of course I say guys, I mean guys and gals. I know we got some Lady Atlas players as well. Oh, that's the merchant ship that scared me. <laughs> I looked over and all of a sudden I saw another ship. It's the merchant ship. I wish there was a way to make him stop. Because, like, right now I'm by myself. I wouldn't be able to jump on with him. Because he would keep sailing. I also wish we could get that powered, you know, system that that ship has for a regular boat, too. That would be pretty neat. Maybe it could, like, run on coal or something like that. I always said it would be really cool if there was like a steam engine or something in the game for the ships. 
either coal powered or maybe oil powered or something. I don't know. All right, we got some floats and boxes here. So yeah, like I said, if you're, you know, maybe a solo player or you're in a small company, uh, this is an easy way to just go around and level up your ship early on. It's just scooping all these floats and boxes. And on the plus side of that too, you get the songs and you get some gold and, you know, all the other stuff that comes with it. So. Whoops. Stop the boat. Am I too far away? I think I could still reach. Yep. Alright, we gotta level up. See a lot of sunken treasures today. Probably should be going to get those, but just trying to get this ship leveled up a little bit. Here's a box. There's my grapple hook, it broke. <laughs> Good thing I brought extra. I put any, uh, I, think I forgot to put the grape shot in the ammo box. Yeah, I did, look. <laughs> no wonder my swivels aren't shooting anything. I have one of them set to all targets, so he should be at least shooting at the fish and stuff like that. Especially any time we stop. So we're on the hunt for some more ships of the damned. Found a few earlier. One red brig, but trying to find a few more. Got this brand new schooner that I just dropped this morning. It's just a common one, nothing fancy. But I haven't built a ship on the official servers in quite a while, so wanted to at least build something, kind of get back in the hang of it. Try to get my sea legs again. A lot of floatsums in this grid. That's good. I'll take it. I don't think we've gotten anything too fancy for uh, blueprints yet, it doesn't look like. couple of pre-crafted things that I don't really need. I could probably throw those overboard. Like a wood gate and something else. Fence post. I 
Normally, I would go over to the Golden Age and, you know, try to level up that way. But I'm just not confident in the... Just, I don't know. I don't really want to leave the grid right now. <laughs> I'm a little worried that my game will crash or I'll be, like, stuck in limbo or something. So until they make an announcement that they're doing another change or fix from Friday's patch, I really don't want to leave the region unless I absolutely have to. So. I think I'm going to stay in here for now. Which is fine, because this is actually usually a pretty populated grid, so. Usually quite a few players here. Oh, there's a box. Open the door. Just joining us, welcome to the channel. Appreciate you tuning in. Okay, that's a galleon. He's yellow. What level is it? It's only a level 13. So I will fight it. Try to get out in front of him here before he hits me with a broadside. Now he's turning away from me, actually. Grab this box, I guess. It's right here. Okay, so he's turning that way. Yeah, I can get in this trade wind or something, and that'll help. I'm going the wrong way, though. There it goes. Okay, so it must run that direction, then. If I turn, I can hit him with my large cannons. Is he going to turn towards us? He just doesn't want to... He doesn't want to play today, I guess. It's funny. When you want him to chase you, they won't. And when you don't want him to chase you, they all chase you. He's running away or something. All right, now he'll start chasing us. <laughs> little too fast. to fight these things inside the trade wind. You barely open your sails and you go flying. Ooh. 
Got hit that time. See if I can hit him with my large cannons here. Just turn sideways. If I can turn, it's always a challenge to turn inside the trade wind. Boom. There. We got him. He was only a level 13, but that's okay. Still a galleon. Still XP for the boat. Okay, so see, now we're going to get actual cyclones. It's going to be hip weird. You're going to have cyclones with the portal cyclones. I don't know. It just seems weird. Okay, so we got some journeyman large planks and large deck blueprints. That's cool. Probably the quality isn't the greatest, but... 119? Not, not, they're journeymen, though. We got a, a common large speed sail blueprint. Actually, that's better than the one I have, so... Probably go back and craft one of those. That's cool. So I can close my gun ports here. Alright, I got at least one level off of that. What did I get here? Five levels. Whoa, okay. Um, put a couple points in weights. Okay. So we got the boat up to level 21. We just dropped it this morning, so... Not too bad. It says there's cyclones, but I guess we're just getting the cyclone wind and rain, not the actual cyclones themselves, so that's fine with me. Is that the, is that the grid line? Can't quite tell. Yeah, I think it is. I'm going to turn back this way. So I'm not looking to leave the region yet. Are you just joining us? Welcome to the channel. Great to have you here on this Monday morning. Well, it's morning for me anyway. Just keeping my eyes open here for anything. Oh, here's a box. Oof, I think I blew right past it, though. Oh, no, I guess I can still grab it. If you're just watching us uh, for the first time, I am playing on the official PvP server on Atlas. And I try to stream this game as often as I can, uh, so, you know, definitely become a subscriber. Um, I haven't streamed the last couple of days just because we're waiting to see if the developers are going to, you know, do something about the issues that came with the patch this previous Friday. Um, they definitely need to address a few things, so I've been kind of waiting for that. I'm planning to do a few more new tutorial videos as well. Uh, the last ones I did were back in like 2021, so a lot of that information is kind of outdated now they, with the way they've changed the game and changed, you know, just the skill tree and everything else. So 
I'm going to try to pull out a few new tutorial videos here soon on my YouTube channel. I do play Atlas on an Xbox. I play on the Series X. Let me know in the chat what you guys play on. Do you play PC, Xbox? I was having a debate with someone the other day. They were trying to tell me that, and I did see the, the quote that backed up this information that, you know, Xbox players only make up like one third of the player base. But it's, I don't know, and maybe it's just me because I play on Xbox, but it seems like a lot of the players I have met over the last couple of years playing Atlas have been mostly Xbox. Uh, I do meet, obviously, quite a few PC players, of course, but it seems like the majority are Xbox. And then, but that's just my opinion, and I have no idea. It might only be a third. So it's, it's just disappointing when they release like a patch and then it doesn't fix the issues with Xbox that they said it would, you know? I'm really hoping that they figure out that memory leak issue or whatever it is that's causing the disconnects because, I mean, I can travel through maybe two regions and then my game will crash. And again, I'm playing on a Series X. It kind of depends too whether I'm fast traveling or if I'm just sailing through the grid lines but it's about 2 to 3 and then my game will crash now a friend of mine was doing some experiments and on Xbox and he tried logging in and logging out before he went through the grid lines and that did seem to help so it seems like well at least as of before the patch Friday like I said, you could go through maybe two grid lines, fast travel to maybe two different beds in different regions, and then your game would crash on Xbox. But if you log in and log out first, before you do that, it doesn't seem to crash, you know, anywhere near as often. So just something you can try out there. Maybe if you're, you know, an Xbox player and you're experiencing a lot of crashing as you go through a grid line. Again, if you're just tuning in, welcome to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. Trying to level up this brand new schooner. It's just a common schooner. Not like a 200% quality or anything like that. It's just a kind of a throwaway schooner here. I just wanted to at least build something to kind of get my sea legs again. It had been a little while since I had built a ship or really sailed around much in Atlas, so... Wanted to get used to it again, see if there was any changes with sailing since the last update. It doesn't really seem like it, though. The biggest thing that I love is just that change to the speed sails. You know, making them open and close way faster. Like, that's amazing. I love it. I probably should check my boat and make sure it doesn't need to be repaired. We did take a couple of shots from that galleon. Yeah, that rear plank doesn't look very good. How's my rear sail looking? That one's fine. What about my front sail? Yep, that one's fine. My cannon rack probably took a little bit of a beating, I'm assuming. Alright, we got that all repaired. Whoop, my sails are not in the wind. Whoa, look at all these boxes. Oh, 
Oh, I missed. <laughs> you suck. Am I too far away? No. Make sure nobody's sneaking up on me. You never know. I said I was playing on a dedicated server for a little while and there was always angry whales coming after me constantly. So now I'm like all paranoid when I'm out sailing. But right now I'm playing on official. Feel free to say hello in the chat. This is always a channel you can come and hang out with, you know, fellow gamers, fellow Atlas players. So definitely say hello in the chat. Maybe you'll meet a, a sailor out there that you haven't talked to before. Usually get a wide variety of people that join the stream. You know, some, some people just join to watch. Others actually do play the game. So you never know who might be in that chat room. Okay. That looks like a Army of the Damned box. Actually. Check that out. Yeah, it is. Maybe it was one of the ones I shot earlier. I don't know. I thought I picked up all the boxes, though. Oops, I fell off the boat. Ah. What a bob, falling off your own boat. <laughs> Holy dolphins, look at them all. This region has a ton of floatsome boxes. Not complaining. But there's a lot of them. Yeah, those of you tuning in, hit that subscribe button for me. I appreciate it. I'm trying to get up to 50 followers here. I think I'm at like 25 or something. I haven't been on this channel very long. It's a relatively new channel, but... Do appreciate you taking the time to tune in and hang out. Hunting down some more ships of the damned before I run out of cannonballs. Let's go back and reload. Like I said, I'm, I'm trying not to leave the region just because of the issues that are kind of going on with the game right now. Maybe it would be fine and I wouldn't have any problems, but I don't want to risk it. So 
hopefully we can find another fleet of the ships of the damned here and oh there they are right there red schooner looks like we have a few of them Level 31. I got two of them on me. Got that guy. Come on, finish him off. There we go. Let's go get our loot. Probably nothing too great, but got another level for the boat at least. to put a few more levels into weight, I guess. Still kind of slow. And there's like a green brigantine over there. Might have enough cannonballs to take him out. Twelve gold. <laughs> Did get some liquid flame though. It's always good to get. Two levels that time. Sorry, Alex the Strong. <laughs> 16 gold. Oh boy. We're rich now. <laughs> Okay, I know we took some damage in that last exchange, so I probably should repair the ship a little bit. Let's see what our cannonball status is looking like here. Um, I don't have a ton left, but... Still doing okay on large cannonballs, but... I don't 
see anything around, so I'm gonna just lower my sails for a second so I can repair. I think it was mostly my cannon rack that looks like it took a lot of the damage. How's my cannons looking? Not too bad. Guess we didn't get too much damage on us. How's the rest of the ship look? Oof, that plank was down to 3,000. Kind of give the whole thing a quick repair, I guess. Everything should be looking pretty good now. And we'll keep sailing. Oh. <laughs> Schooner killed a sea bass. See if we can at least get this thing to level 25. I mean, hey. Like I said, I only dropped the boat like an hour ago, so <laughs> we've just been sailing around this one region. So 25 levels isn't too bad for the first little go-around. Like I said, this is just a common schooner anyway, but... I have yet to try or to build that new Pegasus ship. Um, and I don't know if you guys have had a chance to try that yet. Let me know in the chat if you have. I've seen kind of some mixed things about it. Uh, some people think they're pretty good. Other people don't think they're very good. Um, I guess it actually carries your tames and the tames like go inside of one of the railings that you put on it and so they actually like disappear so that's kind of interesting and i saw someone in the discord saying that once that ship is sunk you can then demolish those railings and i guess your tames will like pop out into the water so if you haven't yet maybe try that ship out with just you know tame like a cow or something or a pig and, and then take it out for a sail and try out that tame hauler and see exactly how it works. Maybe test it out. I've been, like I said, I've seen some people think it's pretty cool and other people think it's not so great. I guess it turns pretty poorly, similar to how the tramp freighter doesn't turn very well. I'm not sure. seen a, quite a few sunken treasures. I'm not really trying to do those right now, though, but like I said, if I go over one that's... Oh, no! I ran over that box. If I go over one that's like a 10-pointer or something like that, I'll maybe I'll stop for it, but most of the ones I've sailed over so far were pretty low-level ones. And like I said, I'm by myself right now, and there's other people in the region, so I don't really want to be at the bottom of the ocean <laughs> trying to get sunken treasure. If you're just joining us on the channel, welcome. Appreciate you tuning in. Playing the pirate survival game Atlas this morning.
and I will be streaming this game more often, uh, just trying to uh, see if the game is stable. That's really the biggest issue right now, is making sure the game is stable enough to play. You know, like I said, they did a patch on last Friday. It was supposed to fix a bunch of things for Xbox and uh, a bunch of other stuff, and it I mean, as of right now, it does not appear that that worked. <laughs> I guess there was other issues that came about with the patch, so. But it is Monday. The weekend's over. Hopefully the developers will, you know, address the issues within the next couple of days. We will have to see. If you, if you want more information, you'll have to check their official Discord. I'll try to put a link to that in the channel. Uh... And other than that, basically check their website. Playatlas.com is their website. That's usually where they post their most recent updates and things like that. One second. I just got to take a quick drink of water. Okay, sorry about that, I'm back. Let's keep sailing. Okay, we got another level up. One more level and I'll have this schooner at uh, 2,000 extra pounds, so that's good. And we made it to level 25, all right. Looks like we got a nice little group hanging out here this morning, so I do appreciate you tuning in. Thank you. I don't know if we'll run into any players out here on the ocean or not. I'm kind of hoping we don't, honestly. <laughs> um, this is a brand new ship, and I'm getting low on cannonballs, so... Need to go back and reload, I guess. Those cyclones, I mean, I don't know. I really don't know how I feel about those. <laughs> what do you guys think? Do you guys like the, the new change for the portal animation? I kind of liked the things they had before. I thought those made more sense. I don't really consider... When I look at that right there, I don't think of that as a portal, I guess. It's more like a whirlpool or a cyclone or a... 
I don't know. What do you, what do you guys think about that new change to the portals? It's, I just don't know what I think about it yet. I think I like the old way better. It's like, you know that saying, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It's like they kind of go with the strategy of if it's not broke, let's change it. <laughs> Just my opinion. I do love the game. I, As much as I get frustrated and get upset sometimes when things get broken and things like that in the game, Atlas still to this day, almost two years later after playing it, is still my favorite game. Uh, my friends and I talk about it all the time because, you know, they get frustrated with the game sometimes too. But we try to find other games to play and none of them just seem to give that same satisfaction that Atlas does. Um, you know, for me personally, it's like I love the building aspect of the game. I love that you can tame all of the creatures the ship fighting, all of it, the socialization. You know, I've, I've met more gamers playing Atlas, I'm pretty sure, than any of the other games I've ever played. Maybe Fallout 76 is a close second. I met a lot of gamers playing that game as well, but Atlas, I've definitely met a ton. And, you know, some people could argue that you could play Ark. Ark is a very similar game. Um... I just personally don't like ARC because I don't like that there's no peace timers. And I mean, yeah, I could probably find like a private server or something like that that maybe has peace timers. Or I guess I, I, I've i thought about playing ARC just as like PvE, you know, but I worry that I would just get bored too fast. So I definitely enjoy the PvP aspect of the game more. But Ark is just brutal, man. That game is so difficult. For me, anyway. Atlas definitely has its challenges, don't get me wrong. Um, but I find this game more enjoyable. Definitely let me know in the chat, too, if there's other survival games that you guys enjoy. Um, I have tried games like Lo uh, Lost Oasis, or Last Oasis, I guess it's called. I tried that one out. That one was pretty fun. I have played Rust. Uh, games like that. Didn't really care for Rust all that much, though. A little too intense for me. We've reached the grid line again, so I'm going to turn around. I know there's got to be other ships of the damned out here somewhere. I've been seeing players join the region too, so who knows. Maybe we'll run into a player ship out here. Oh, I thought that dolphin was a whale for a second. <laughs> I'm glad it wasn't.
A few more players joining the region. That's always fun. I'm going to turn up this way. See if we can find some more ships of the damned, maybe. Keep on sailing. Sometimes I can get these on the way by while I'm still moving, but <laughs> it's kind of hard while you're driving. Cyclones freak me out and make me think they're actual cyclones. start heading back towards our island here and probably need to go reload on cannonballs I'm thinking I have some but I definitely could use a few more so I think that's what we'll do we'll head over towards the island and park for a few minutes Get the cannonballs resupplied. Here's a shipwreck. Three point oh. <laughs> I am not stopping for that. Sorry. You know, it's interesting though, sometimes I actually see the it seems like the modular ship blueprints seem to pop up more often in the lower level shipwrecks. 
That's just my opinion, uh, just from what I've experienced. Um, let me know in the chat if that seems to be the case for you as well, but it seems like, you know, the the sunken treasures that are like six or less, maybe, or something like that, I am I find like broadsiders and, you know, blueprints like that more frequently. Could just be luck, though. I don't know. You just tuning into the channel? Welcome. Appreciate you joining us here. Just hanging out, playing some pirate MMO Atlas this morning. Sailing around in a brand new common boat here that's low level. <laughs> Trying to get a few levels put into it. We've got 25 so far, not too bad. I just dropped this boat this morning. But as always, I do appreciate you tuning in. Do hope you'll become a subscriber before you leave today. Be streaming Atlas more often. Hopefully get some more uh, PvP action here on the channel as well. But I am playing on a PvP server, so... What's this sunken treasure? Four point eight. Eh. Still not worth stopping for when I'm by myself. <laughs> There's too many other people around. I was hoping we would find one more little fleet of ships of the damned, but not seeing any right now. Might have already got them all in this region. Hope you're all enjoying your Monday so far. Not sure what everybody's up to today. You see it for me, just hanging out playing Atlas. The seas are very quiet this morning. Too quiet. You know, if you're somebody that's new to the game, definitely feel free to ask questions in the chat. I don't mind at all helping new players. So if there's something you don't know how to do in Atlas and you're curious, or if you just have questions about the game in general, definitely let me know in the chat. Say hello as well. Have this box here, I guess.
another 3.0 treasure. Not stopping for that. Hello, Mr. Shark. <sighs> Says I'm dying of various vitamin deficiencies. <laughs> well, I don't know if I have... Let's see, I can got meat. I have fish, yep. And berries. There we go. <laughs> I got my vitamins under control. Where are all the ships of the damned? They've got to be here somewhere. A vitamin A deficiency. I have plenty of food. I've been scooping up the floatsums all morning, so... I don't think I have checked this sunken treasure over here yet, so we'll check this one out. Next uh, stream, I may uh, make a, a brigantine. And I'll try to make one that's in like a, you know, a better shipyard. So we'll get like a 200% boat and then I'll take it out and we'll try to level that one up. This was just kind of a quick, quick build. Oh, I missed what the number was on that shipwreck. I don't think it was very high though. It looked like it was only like a, maybe a six. Well, I have enough cannonballs to go one more round with some Ships of the Damned. So I'm going to try to hold out for that and see if we can get a couple more levels. Oh, there's a level right there.
Okay, so we've got the 2,000 extra pounds now. And we're at level 26. Not bad for a brand new boat. Got some fog rolling in, apparently. That's always fun. And it's getting dark. The sun is going down. Dark and foggy. Not a great combination. If you're just joining us, welcome to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Trying to find at least a couple of more ships of the dam to take down before I go back and reload. It's so foggy out here, can't see anything. Super dark and super foggy. You never know what you'll run into in these situations. <laughs> My luck, I'll run into a whale or something. keeping my ship on free fire in case we roll up on something unexpectedly here in the fog. Here's a box. At least those light up in the fog. Hey, check it out. We got a journeyman stone cliff platform all crafted. <laughs> it's so weird to me still that the journeyman stuff is green. Ugh. Those of you just tuning in, definitely chime in. What do you guys think about the change to the blueprints? The different colors? I, I'm not sure I'm a fan yet. <laughs> it's going to definitely take some getting used to seeing like a journeyman blueprint being green. Used to be blue. Certainly will take some getting used to. If you're just joining us, I am playing on a PvP server here on Atlas, in case you were wondering. And I do play on an Xbox as well. Play on Series X. Usually one of the more common questions that people will ask in the stream. What console do you play on, or what do you play on? I'm an X-Bob. I know, I know. <laughs> Alright, well the fog is lifting. Some of this excess stuff in the box here. Oh, look, I got a crafted farmhouse. 
It is one thing that's nice about the floatsome boxes, is you get all those random crafted items. I like getting pre-crafted stuff. That makes it a lot more convenient. Sometimes you'll get decent ones, too. I mean, some of those crafted farmhouses or, you know, sometimes you'll get some really good common blueprints. All right, finally, we found some ships of the damned. bunch of them. Um, that green galleon probably isn't worth my time, but I'll try to take out this yellow brig at least. Might not have a choice though. I might have to fight all of them. The wind is really bad right now. It's slow. Yeah, that galleon's only level 5. Yep, guess we're gonna have to fight him. They're all chasing me now. That was close. Oh, those missed. Alright, this galleon is almost dead, so I'm gonna let him catch up to me here. Oh, come on. That was terrible. What's he changing his mind? Not coming after us anymore? Boom. Well, even though that was a low-level galleon, it still leveled us up. I'll take it. that red schooner over there, too. Let's go get these guys over here. I definitely want this red schooner. that level into damage. I might get beat up a little.
Oh. I don't know what it was targeting that time. <laughs> Come on. Brig is changing his mind. <laughs> like, eh, maybe I'd rather not fight. There, that'll get his attention. <laughs> that'll get his attention. He'll call for his buddy to come over here, too. Oh. Oof. that guy. Oh! They missed. Just out of range. <laughs> He'll loop around, though. <laughs> Man, their accuracy is terrible. <laughs> Alright, one more shot. Come on. There we go. There, took care of that fleet. Probably got at least a couple of levels out of that. Some more liquid flame. Might put a flame swivel on this boat, maybe, or something. <laughs> I always, I like surprising people, and they come pulling up on you, get too close, and all of a sudden you hit them with some liquid flame. It's always a good time. Oh, I got a common large cannon all crafted, it says. Scoop up this last box. And then I need to go get more cannonballs. Because I am really low. <laughs> Look, the shark's already on him. That didn't take long. There, that was fun. We took out the ship of the damned fleet. Probably got 
decent amount of levels, actually. I didn't check that yet. Eh, only two, but we're getting up there, though. We've got this new schooner to level 29. It's pretty good. I just dropped it at the beginning of this uh, live stream, so... This is just a brand new boat. It didn't have any levels in it yet or anything. Like I mentioned, too, it's just common. It's not, like, mythical or anything like that. If you're just tuning in, welcome to the channel. Great to have you here. Just gave a welcome out in the chat. Just cruising around, playing some Atlas today. Trying to just get used to sailing again. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the stream, it's been a little while since I've sailed or since I've, you know, done any kind of ship fighting or anything, so... Just wanted to get kind of used to that again. It's been a while. Kind of like riding a bike, though, right? You never forget. <laughs> but I am getting pretty dangerously low on cannonballs, so I probably should head in and reload. I have a vitamin deficiencies. Luckily, uh, luckily I have plenty of food though. <laughs> I've been scooping up floatsome boxes all morning. Looks like we got a decent crowd in here right now. Like I said, thanks so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Hope you become a follower of the channel before you leave do stream Atlas quite often. I've been streaming Apex Legends, a couple of other games as well. I definitely want to try to be streaming more Atlas. Just been waiting for the game to be stable, like we talked about earlier. Just, you know, recovering from that last patch that they did on Friday, which was supposed to help things, but it doesn't seem to have helped a whole lot. There's a lot of issues still happening, just my opinion, but... Again, if you always want to check up the latest information, check out playatlas.com. That's their main website. You can get all the patch notes and things like that. This most recent patch was supposed to be pretty great. It added a new ship. Um, it was supposed to fix some things for Xbox. But from what I can tell, like they were supposed to fix the graphics too for Xbox. But... Like, see, even when you look at this steering wheel, I don't know if you can tell on the stream, but it just kind of looks a little blurry. It doesn't... And even the, the wood and everything... Like, the details aren't very detailed. And I notice when I jump onto, like, an unofficial server, it looks drastically better. So... Yeah. I mean, I don't know. It's It's easy to get frustrated with the game... It's easy to get upset at the developers and things like that. I'm guilty of it. I get upset sometimes. It's it's more of a frustration, though, I think, because we love the game and we want the game to be successful. It's not that we're, we're definitely not rooting for it to fail by any means. Um, but it's just frustrating when they release patch notes. They say that these things are going to be fixed. I mean, they have a test server. You would think they would be testing these things out. And then they delay the patch two days, and then even when it's finally released, it just created more problems than it had to begin with. So I don't know. That's where the frustration comes in for me, personally. I don't know about all of you out there watching, but... The game is great. I mean, it's... It's one of the best games I've ever played. It has so many different aspects to it that you can do that keeps keeps it fresh, even though it is sort of repetitive. I mean, I have friends who play Atlas, and they tell me, oh, I'm just, I'm done with Atlas. I've, I've played it enough. I don't want to play it anymore, blah, blah, blah. Which I totally get. I totally understand. I mean, it's, it does get old playing the same game all the time. But this game, though, 
I try to find the same level of enjoyment from other games, and I just don't find it. Like, this game has a lot of social aspects that I really like. Um, the PvP aspect of it I really enjoy. The shipbuilding and the customization, all of that stuff. Uh, you know, games like Ark and stuff, I just haven't, you know, really found that same level of enjoyment as I do with Atlas, so... Hey, Blood, I see you out there in the chat. What's up? What's going on? Yeah, a little bit of a personality transplant, I guess you could say. Sometimes I'm just a keyboard warrior, man. Don't mind me. <laughs> but no, the frustrations, I mean, I have a lot of friends. I'd say between 15 and 20 people that all love Atlas. They love the game, but they can't really play the game either because they're on older Xbox hardware or even when they do play the game, they experience issues with just crashing all the time and things like that. And it's just, it's frustrating. You know, you don't want to play a game that you, I mean, and this game has to devote a lot of your time. You know, you have to grind out resources. You have to level up your character and your boats and everything. There's a lot of time involved. And so when you just try to play, like right now, if I was out sailing around and I was dashboarding constantly, I would get very frustrated and I probably wouldn't keep playing. But that's also why I haven't left the region at the same time. Because I know that the game is having some problems. You know, when you go through the grid line, sometimes you dashboard. On Xbox, at least. Maybe not on PC. So, you know, it's easy to get frustrated with this game and not want to play. And I wish the developers could somehow address some of those issues, you know, before they add new content. I mean, yeah, it's great that they added the, the Pegasus ship, right? But did we really need that? Did we really need more content? Did we really need to change the portals to these giant cyclones? Maybe. Maybe it causes less lag or something. I I have no idea. Oh, no. I ran over that box. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Yeah, and I guess that's, that's the thing, Blood. You know, um, the frustration is not just as an Xbox player either because, I mean, this game is cross-play. So, like, I've got friends who play on PC, but the majority of our group are Xbox. So when the majority of our group can't play, you know, the few, maybe three or four PC players don't feel like playing either because they know the rest of us can't play. So it's kind of a chain reaction, you know, right? So even though the game, like the PC players will always say, oh, well, it's running fine for me. Yeah, well, what are you going to do when half your team can't play and, you know, everything you do is just going to be that much more difficult because you've got less people. You know, the game runs quite well on the Xbox Series X and the Xbox One X. It's almost like they should just put out an announcement and say, these are the two consoles that run the game. We don't really suggest you run it on anything else. Because even the Series S, you know, they've openly had said that that, gate, that console has issues with this game. So, I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. Um, I just do wish that they would fix the current issues before implementing, you know, new content and changing the way the game is. And, you know, if they're going to add things and change the game, like they even added a bunch of new resources and things like that, and they, they should just do a wipe. You know, the player base is already probably pretty low right now anyway. This season has gone on for, what, like four months at least? Almost five? You know, we could, we could easily do a wipe. I think it's time. Just my opinion, of course. Start over, start fresh. Reset the server. Maybe that will fix some of the problems. 
Flood's saying the schooner, the galleon, have hundreds of pieces per ship, so it's heavy on server performance. Modular ships are less demanding, although they're complete trash. Yeah, I will say the tame ship is a good addition. Yeah, it... Uh, I don't know if we needed to be able to haul 30 tames. I mean, uh, I don't know how often you really do that. Maybe if you're switching islands or you're going to have a huge raid. <laughs> I got 30 horses on the way. But it will be nice to go taming when you go, like, to another grid. You know, because some regions, of course, have certain tames. Maybe other ones don't. Like, if you go to tame crabs, for example, you gotta sail to the regions that have the trench. And the way it stands right now, you could lose your tame when you go through the grid line, so... Look, I'm over-encumbered. Who I got it's so heavy? A few cannonballs. I have a ton of, like, crafted random stuff. Get rid of. I got a crafted medium sail. <laughs> Guess I'll save it for something. We're getting that good cyclone wind right now. Fast. Just realized my gun ports are still open. I'd like to see if I can keep the stream up long enough to get this ship to at least level 30. Just got one more level and we're like halfway there, so... Maybe I can come across a couple more ships of the damned or something. Fog is rolling in. It's that cold fog. For those of you just joining us, welcome to the channel. Appreciate you tuning in. Sorry about that. Just had to look at something in my Xbox menu there for a second. Okay, so, I, yeah, I see you're talking about that dark side RP thing. I don't know anything about that or what it is. Is it just like a private server that is Atlas? Is that what that is? That dark side roleplay server or whatever that you're talking about in the chat? I'm assuming if it's like a private thing, maybe is it is it PC only? Is it like is it PVE? Is it PVP? I don't I don't know anything about it. 
I've only recently been starting to hear about it. People talk about it in Discord and mention it. Try to keep up with the news and all that kind of stuff with the game, but that's something I have not heard of before. couple of floats some boxes. You know, and I, you know, about the current developers, I love that they, that that Redbeard fella talks in the chat more often, like talks in Discord. You know, he's actually even replied to a message of mine before when I sent and asked a question. So, you know, they're definitely more engaged with the community. Um, but yeah, I mean, that part is great with the new developers it's just uh i don't know i i the question i had asked redbeard was do, do they have an xbox test group and he told me that as of that time which was a month or two ago that they didn't that you know pretty much they just have pc test players or whatever but you know i know myself and a few others would definitely be interested in being test players for xbox um so hopefully that will happen too. Okay, so Darkseid is an unofficial server because it's modded, it's PC only, and it's PvP with rules such as parties must fire flares to engage in CPvP. That's interesting. Okay. It's too bad that even the uh, Series X and those kind of consoles can't do the modded servers. That would be really cool if they could. Because I have seen some of the mods that Atlas has, that players have made, and it's pretty awesome. Like, I've seen that guy that makes all the new ships. Can't remember what his username is, but you can find him on, he's usually in all the Facebook groups, the Atlas groups. I think, is, do they do that on the radioactive server, I believe, maybe? Is that the one? But that guy has created all kinds of new ships for Atlas, and things like that but yeah again you have to be on PC to play on like the modded servers unfortunately for me I'm still on Xbox I'm at least on a Series X but it's too bad because Atlas ran really great I remember when I first got this Series X it was like last fall or well before that even back in 2019 even I guess or no excuse me 2020 it would have been late 2020 uh, Atlas ran great with the Series X but then they've done something since they introduced like the the portals and all that stuff the game just doesn't seem to run anywhere near as good as it did before on Xbox just my opinion Yeah, those of you watching out there, thanks for tuning in. I do appreciate you hanging out. You know, you're always welcome to say hello in the chat and socialize and hang out with other gamers. We always welcome the chat. Yeah, I get that. I, I, I see what you're saying in the chat about Microsoft and how it's up to them and they kind of have to play by all their rules and all of that. But, I mean, they knew that going into this, though, so I don't know. I, it's a little frustrating. Like, they sh if they were going to release the game on Xbox, I mean, they kind of knew what they were getting themselves into. Of course, these current developers, I'm not sure how many of them are the same people, if any. Might be all new people. I don't know. But, uh... Yeah, I mean, they've been dealing... This game's been out since 2018, and Xbox came around in 2019, I think, with this game. It was like a Season 3, I believe, and that's when I started playing. I didn't start playing right when it first came to Xbox. It was like three months later or something that I started playing. But, I mean, I've been playing ever since. Only a few breaks here and there in between for when seasons were winding down and things like that. But I mean, yeah, they they knew what they were getting themselves into by putting this game on Xbox. They knew they were going to have to deal with Microsoft and 
play by their rules. Unfortunately, that's just the way that works. Yeah. I mean, it's still in early release, so I don't know if they would be able to back out of that agreement, you know? Like, I don't know if they would be able to just say, well, guys, we tried. We're going to just put the game on PC. I, I don't know if they have some kind of contractual obligation to keep the game on Xbox. I have no idea. No clue. I'm not involved in any of that stuff. <laughs> I don't work for the company, so... So yeah, I'm not sure if, you know, they have to release the game on Xbox if they do release the game. What do you guys think? Let me know in the chat. That's a sunk player boat right there. You guys think I should dive for it? I hate to dive when I'm by myself on a boat, but... My luck, it's just probably some... Tramp freighter or something. Put my stuff away here. One last look-see. I don't see anybody. We're going in. Let's do a vote in the chat. What do you guys think this is going to be? I think it's going to be a tramp freighter. <laughs> or maybe a pegasus. See, okay, what is this, a sloop? Or no, it's a, nah, it's a tramp freighter. I'm assuming there's nothing I can loot. There usually isn't. That's one thing I don't like about these modular ships as well, is you usually can't loot them. Let's see if it'll let me. Not if I go first person, it will let me go in here. No. Of course, they didn't leave the doors open. Oh, well. Probably nothing on it anyway. That's definitely one thing that's frustrating about the modular ships, is they're almost impossible to loot once they sink. It can be done. It's just a lot of times you'll demolish the box or the whatever, and it will just give you that uh, accessing inventory screen, and you, act you can't actually see what's in the box or in the bag. Um, but as far as splitting the players between PC and Xbox on their own servers, I mean, what have they really got to lose? I mean, I'm sure it would cost them money to do that, to run different servers, but they had the EU and the NA servers as it was, so I mean, I don't think it was would be that big of a deal, but I think it would be a really smart idea, and I think it would get more players back into the game. I mean... There's a ton of players out there who either have played Atlas, used to play Atlas, considered playing Atlas, whatever, but they couldn't play because of various problems. Either the game just didn't work, it lagged out too bad, you know, whatever the reason was, but they gave up on the game. And I think if there was a serious push to, to fix some of those connection problems for Xbox and things like that, and if they were on their own server, didn't have to deal with all the PC lag and all that stuff. I think a lot of players would come back to the game. Just my opinion, but I think a lot of players would. Yeah, I, I see what you're saying, proximity. Yeah, the player count. 1,200 players. It, it would be a gamble. They would have to at least try and then do a lot of promotion. You know, like out on YouTube, out on social media... To let everybody know, hey, we got the game back, we got it fixed, still early access, whatever, but at least come back and try the game again. And I bet you, I mean, anytime there's a server wipe, the population always goes way up, at least for the first couple weeks. So if they did some kind of a serious push, you know, to promote it, 
uh, I think you could get more players back. Yeah, I mean, I see what you're saying, you know, focus on the health of the game and then the players will come back. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I remember, what was it, um, that game, the space game, what is it? Oh, shoot. It's right on the tip of my tongue, I'm trying to remember the name of it. But, uh, Lost, not Lost Planet, um, shoot, it's right on the tip of my tongue. But they had a lot of problems at launch, and then they worked on it and worked on it. And now the game runs great. They've added tons of free new content to the game. Uh, and it runs great. But on launch and at the beginning, it was rough. You know, people had a lot of problems with it. No Man's Sky. Yes, that's the game right there. No Man's Sky. Absolutely. 100%. Thank you, Blood. Yeah, that game had a lot of problems when it first was released from what I had read and remembered, and then they worked on it a ton. And now it, I mean, they've got it optimized for Series X now. It's on Game Pass, all that stuff. So, I mean, that's huge too. I mean, if they could get the game running optimized like Ark, you know, Ark runs beautiful on this Series X. It looks great and it runs great. The only reason I don't play is because I suck at it and the game is super difficult for me. <laughs> I die constantly in that game. But if they could get Atlas, you know, running optimized for Series X and Series S, put it on its own server, maybe even somehow get it onto Game Pass, that would be amazing. And then they would get a ton of players. Because I know I have a lot of friends who play games just because they're on Game Pass, right? I mean, you subscribe to that service, you're going to play the games that are on there. They put Ark on there. So, I mean, all good ideas. I think it would be amazing if they could do that. Time will tell. I'm just glad that I can at least play. Uh, you know, I logged in this morning not really knowing what I was going to get into. All right, well, we've had the stream up now for a little over three hours, surprisingly. Time has flown by. It's hard to believe it's been that long, actually. It doesn't seem like it. But we got this new schooner up to level 29, or got it close. I want to hit level 30. If I could find, like, one more little fleet of ships of the damned, I think that would do it. It's always amazing to me how many players I meet and interact with that don't know that you can grapple hook the floatsome boxes like that. <laughs> I'll have new players on a boat with me and I'll see them jumping off the ship to go get the floatsomes. I'm like, where are you going? Like, oh, I'm going to get the box. I'm like, you don't have to do that. Just throw the grapple. <laughs> They're like, oh my god. It's like a light bulb moment, you know? That's the thing about these games. There's so many little tricks and tips that unless you play the game, you never really learn because it doesn't tell you that, of course. It doesn't tell you that you can do that. There's no tutorial. Like I said, I'm going to try to uh, do a few more tutorial videos soon once they kind of smooth out these updates. Because... I have tutorial videos on my channel, on my YouTube channel, it's just that they're old, you know, they're outdated now. <laughs> I was so upset, I made one tu whole tutorial video on all the skill trees and everything, 
and it was like three weeks later they announced the update and the change and they completely overhauled the whole skill tree. <laughs> it's like, no. But that's okay. The information is still pretty much the same. It's just the where you buy the, the different skills is a little different now. Hey, what's up, Ego Fish Dave? Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thanks for tuning in. We're hanging out playing some Atlas today. Had the stream up for about three hours now. We started the day building this schooner from scratch. And we dropped it and set sail, and now we've got it up to level 29. I'm trying to at least get this last level for level 30. And then we'll probably call it a day here on the ocean at least, and I'll head back and get some more cannonballs. One of my back planks looked like it was pretty dark. Yeah, that one right there. Look, 2600 health. <laughs> Ooh, that one's down to 28. What's my back sail looking? Ooh, looks like that took some damage too. I forgot that we got into a little battle there. Oh, oh, shoot. I didn't mean to run over that box. Probably would have got us our level up if I hadn't ran over it. <laughs> no, I don't want to go through the grid line, that's for sure. I have a vitamin D deficiency. To eat some fish. I, think I have some down here. There we go. Oh yeah, I forgot that they added that new buff as well. If you look in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, you'll see that little, you know, pumped-up arm there flexing. I guess that's the new um, buff that they have. So that's kind of cool. I think it's a torpor buff, I believe. Let's see if I can look at the skill tree and check that out in just a second once I grab these boxes. Friend of mine is sending me a party invite. But we'll have to get to that in just a moment. <laughs> is this going to do it? No, not quite. Actually, that's actually a good thing to find, the large stone wall blueprints, because they upped the durability on the on the blueprints, or excuse me, on the health for the large stone walls. I think it's at like, I don't know, 20,000 health now or something like that. I don't know what it was before, but I did read in the previous patch notes that they upped the health on the large stone walls. So, you know, getting some common blueprints for those is actually really good because they'll be even better. I did see someone mention in the Discord that any of the large stone walls that were built prior to the patch don't have the updated health. So if your base has a large, you know, large stone walls, uh, you may want to update those, like just demo them and get back half the resources and then just rebuild them. And then they'll have the updated health. It's your tip of the day. <laughs> Oh man, we're getting so close to that level 30.
So yeah, I hope you're all enjoying your Monday so far. Hope things are going well for you. Like I said, as always, you're always welcome to just say hello in the chat, hang out. This is a place where Atlas players can socialize and hang out. Of course, no matter what game you play. Trying to get this schooner to level 30. I really was hoping there'd just be like a couple ships of the damned and that would be plenty. Oh, now I have a vitamin C deficiency. So I guess, oh, let this music play for a second. Loud. So, you know, again, I, I'm playing on an Xbox and this live stream has been up now for over three hours. I haven't crashed, so, but I also haven't left the region. <laughs> so that's the kicker right there. So, you know, if you're someone who plays on Xbox, you're wondering the stability of the game. Um, I'm in a region right now that's pretty populated. Uh, there's a lot of structures in this region. Of course, I'm in the open ocean right now, but, you know, whenever I pull up to the islands, it's going to be a lot of structures. So we'll see when I go back home here shortly, um, you know, if my game crashes or anything like that. But so far, so good. Uh, been up and running now for over three hours, and the game has not crashed. So, thumbs up for that. All right, getting really close now on the level up. Probably just another few more minutes of sailing around, and then it should hit level 30. Maybe I can find a floatsome box here. At least like a purple one. So yeah, those of you just tuning in, welcome to the channel. Great to have you here. There it is. Okay, cool. Well... Got this brand new schooner up to level 30. Not too bad. All right, everybody. Well, it's just about my lunchtime here, so I think I'm going to take a little break. Um, I'll probably jump back on, actually, because I'm having a good time playing and just getting this little ship leveled up. Maybe I'll brave it out next time and we'll leave the region. And we'll uh, try to sail somewhere else and we'll see what happens. And I'll show you on the live stream, you know, what happens to you. Like if <laughs> if the game crashes or whatnot, maybe it won't. Maybe it'll just continue to run just fine. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, if you're here hanging out, be sure to become a follower of the channel. Be sure to subscribe. And I will catch you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. This is Main the Outspoken. Safe sailing out there.